In this video, we will talk about the importance of seeing the world through the lenses of energy, frequency, and vibration. Yes, you're right. This combination of words sounds familiar. It was Nikola Tesla who said it and somehow left it for us to work with. You will notice during the development of our course how often we repeat the terms energy, frequency, and vibration. After all, we are talking about machine dynamics, right? But before we get into the details of the course, let's discuss a little bit more about Tesla's words. Stay with us and we will show you a point of view which will totally blow your mind. Let's start from classic physics which states that only what can be perceived with the senses and measured by scientific instruments is real. This totally makes sense. We see the application of this concept in our daily life where we can trust what we can measure. Nothing new, isn't it? But hold on. Let's see what the other science has to say. Quantum physics, or how some would call it, the new science. Grab your chair tight. Quantum physics explains phenomena that classic physics has failed to. It proves that solid matter does not exist in the universe. How come? We all know that everything in the universe is composed of atoms. Absolutely everything, right? This we know. Now, atoms are not solid. They have three subatomic particles protons, neutrons, and electrons. The protons and neutrons are contained in the center of the atom, while the electrons orbit in the outside. Here it comes. In reality, the atoms that form the objects and substances that we call solid are actually made up of 99.9999% space. What? Yes, as the Danish scientist, Nobel Prize winner Niels Bohr said, Everything that we call real is made of things that cannot be regarded as real. So, reality is not real, huh? Then, according to classic physics, what are we really measuring and seeing? Now the intricacy truly begins. If we recall Nikola Tesla's words, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think of energy, frequency, and vibration. It is not complicated to see that when we speak about atoms, we are undoubtedly speaking about energy. Recalling also Einstein's famous energy formula, E equals mc squared. Atoms are basically energy, which indicates that all in the universe is energy. In addition, it turns out that atoms do not have the planet-like structures that we are used to seeing, with electrons whizzing around. Atoms have no internal structure and no physical size meaning that they are entirely illusory and completely made up of energy. They are zero-dimensional and more like events than things. Okay, okay, hold on. What is all this and what's the role of frequency and vibration? Well, it was discovered that electrons are both wave and a particle at the same time as something that is called wave-particle duality. There you have it. The same as everything in the universe is energy, the atoms forming the universe are also vibrating at specific frequencies. Shocked? Let's be practical and go deeper into the wave-particle duality. We are seeing and listening to images and sounds because our eyes and ears can convert electromagnetic, light, and mechanical, sound, waves into electric neural signals interpreted by our brain. So our perception of reality is based on our ability to decode or encode information in the waves. You will find that reality itself is a manifestation of the wave equation. A slightly different solution to a wave equation might lead to a completely alternate reality or alternate universe. Another surprising behavior of atomic particles is that they can be in more than one place at the same time. This phenomenon is called superposition. Electrons are able to be in hundreds of places simultaneously, which is only possible if everything is energy. The reality is that everything is energy, and energy is everything. Hopefully, this video has got you more intrigued by the concepts of energy, frequency, and vibration, and made you think deeper into the subject. Make sure to follow our next video to find out the whole story. See you next time.